Major Hurricane Umberto is slamming Bermuda tonight. I'm Mike Naso with this midnight update on the dangerous Hurricane Umberto as well as Tropical Storm Jerry. As of 11 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time, Umberto was at 34.0 north, 63.9 west, and the winds were 120 miles per hour. It's a solid Category 3, a major hurricane, and it's moving northeast at 20, even faster than that, pressure 952. The uh, hurricane starting to depart from the area of Bermuda is going to move on out and be extra tropical. However, it has seriously impacted that island. Look at this water vapor imagery. Can you see Bermuda right in there where I just circled? And Umberto came very close, and they had sustained hurricane winds, gusts into the Category 2 or 3 range. It sounds like the island of Bermuda really got hit hard by this hurricane. Uh, I don't know if they were hit as bad as they were with Fabian back in 03, which was also 120 miles an hour. Fabian's right eye wall went right over Bermuda back in 2003. This went further north. Nevertheless, hurricane force winds still impacting the island, although that will be clearing out. Uh, this is quite a blow for the island of Bermuda. So we're watching Umberto. Air Force been flying out there. They're finding surface winds pretty darn close to a minimal Category 4. So even though as systems get further north, you can see us at the latitude about a Cape Hatteras, they may not look as pretty, but they could still pack quite a wallop, and it's going to remain a very powerful storm in the North Atlantic the next few days. Now let's get to Jerry. As of 11 p.m., Tropical Storm Jerry was at 15.4 north, 51.8 west. Winds were 65 miles per hour with higher gusts. It's moving west-northwest at 13 knots or 15 miles an hour and the pressure is 997 millibars. Now, Jerry is forecast to become a hurricane, but it's having some problems with some westerly shear, I'll show you in a minute, and it should remain a Category 1 hurricane, but make a close approach to the Northern Islands on Friday. After that point, it should feel a weakness in the high pressure caused by Hurricane Umberto and turn, and almost all the computer models show that turn well before the Turks, Caicos, Bahamas, or the eastern seaboard. And uh, so that's kind of what we're looking at with Jerry. However, because of the close approach on Friday, we now have a tropical storm watch in effect for Barbuda, Anguilla, St. Martin, St. Barthelemy, Saba, and St. Eustatius, with the expectation that Jerry will be a hurricane Friday, making a very close approach. There's the infrared satellite imagery. You can see Jerry's trying to become a hurricane really hard. But look at these winds here, this wind shear coming from the west-northwest flow, and that's impinging on Jerry. Notice the flattening right there. See how it flattens? That is not favorable. It should be expanding to the west. So Jerry's struggling, but he's trying. Look at that convection blowing up near the center. So he should become a hurricane tomorrow, but remain a... Uh, potent Category 1 throughout the period, and probably not a major hurricane, at least not right at this point in time. It doesn't look like that'll happen. Nevertheless, could get close to the islands, and that's what the main concern is. If Jerry gets too close, you'll get in those tropical storm force winds, which is why that watch is out right now. You can see most of the models keep Jerry on that pretty good west-northwest course, and then eventually northwest and north, although notice Bermuda here, you may eventually have to deal with Jerry uh, after Umberto. But see these light-colored lines here? These are ensemble models, and a lot of them like bringing Jerry further west towards the Bahamas and the East Coast. So while uh, that scenario is unlikely right now, you definitely want to keep tuned to that just in case Jerry comes your way. The European models were showing Jerry becoming a stronger hurricane and remaining much more west towards Puerto Rico and the southern Bahamas, one even taking it into the Gulf towards uh, Louisiana. Uh, but that's a major outlier, as you can see, even with these Europeans, most of them turn it to the north. But Bermuda, you might get hit again, so uh, keep an eye on Jerry. I wanted to note over Texas, we still have very, very heavy rainfall from Imelda. You can see the circulation is still spinning there, not nearly as well defined as it was earlier, but look at this constant rain. Areas of Houston, Galveston, Lake Charles, you guys are just getting drenched, and there could also be some severe weather in here, stormy skies. So Imelda is packing a punch for a system that didn't exist 10 hours before it made landfall as a tropical storm. It was one of the quickest developing storms 
uh, certainly that I've ever tracked in probably about 10 or 12 years. I did want to mention the Eastern Pacific. I don't cover it too much, but you can see we have three systems. We have Kiko, which was once a very powerful major hurricane, strengthening a little bit. We have Mario, which could become a hurricane. And we have Lorena, which is now a hurricane, and it is very close to the coast of uh, Mexico. Here's the latest on Hurricane Lorena as of 10 p.m. Central, 11 p.m. Eastern. Lorena was at 18.7 north, 104.7 west. Wind 75 miles an hour, just became a hurricane moving northwest at 12. And we do have a hurricane warning in effect for Punta San Telmo to Cabo Corrientes and a tropical storm warning from Cabo Corrientes to Punta Mita. And that's because the uh, eye wall of the hurricane is going to get very, very close, possibly even make landfall, and be a Category 1 hurricane as it moves just south of the Baja, it looks like, and then weakened by the early part of next week. Nevertheless, it is a hurricane impacting Mexico, and if we covered Imelda right here in Texas, here's Lorena. So I figured I'd give it a little uh, coverage there. There's the latest water vapor imagery, and you can see the center is right in this area here. So there is deep convection, and we could see some heavy rainfall. It is expanding there on the western side, so Hurricane Lorena is getting better organized off Mexico. And Mario, Mario is shrinking a little, but it's strengthening. And there's going to be some interaction between the two. It's uh, what we call the Fujiwara effect. What the Fujiwara effect is, is when two tropical cyclones interact, we could see Hurricane Lorena here move on off in this direction and Mario kind of loop around and move in that direction and they kind of loop around each other and kind of do this pirouette dance. It's kind of creepy when you think about it because they're just weather, but yeah, that's what happens with storms sometimes. So we're going to watch and see if Mario and Lorena do some kind of dance in the Pacific. Right now, Lorena is the obvious much bigger threat to Mexico. So that'll do it for the tropics, Umberto pounding Bermuda, Jerry, be on the alert if you're in the islands, Imelda drenching Texas, Lorena hitting Mexico, Mario shrinking, Kiko spinning out there, a lot of storms for the Atlantic and Pacific. I'll talk to you guys next time.